Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain to you the solution for the lead code problem median of two sorted arrays. So basically in this question we're given two sorted arrays nums1 and nums2 having the size m and n and we have to find the median of the two sorted arrays within the time complexity of log of m plus n. So what we'll be doing is we'll be simply merging those two arrays into a new array having the size m plus n and then if m plus n is odd we'll simply return a of m plus n by 2 and if it is even then we have to return the average of the two middle elements so let's get to it so int m is equal to nums2 dot length nums1 dot length taking in the size of the given integers array and int n is equal to nums2 dot length and then creating a new array int a is equal to new int of size m plus n so with this we've created an array a having the size m plus n now to traverse and to put the values into a we'll be using three integers and k is equal to zero now within a while loop we'll put the condition y i less than m and j less than n so we'll be using i to traverse through nums1 and we'll be using j to traverse through all the elements of nums2 and while either array still has elements left we'll keep on going so if say nums1 of i is less than nums2 of j so if the ith element of i of nums1 is smaller than the jth element of nums2 we'll put that inside a new array nums1 of i i plus plus k plus plus or we can do k plus plus outside so in the first case i and j are zero so if the first element of nums1 is smaller than the first element of nums2 we'll be putting that in the first position of k and then so on and likewise for the else part if nums2 happens to be smaller then we'll be putting that inside a of k as we have to make a of k in a sorted order nums2 of j then j plus plus and then outside so that we can put the elements in the correct position k plus plus so using i we'll be looking at all the integers of nums1 using j of nums2 and whichever element is smaller we'll be putting that in its correct position in a now we have to consider the possibility that one array has finished while the other array still has elements left so for that we need some more two more loops so while i less than m suppose that the first array still has elements left and the second array has been finished has been has been completed so we can simply put all the remaining elements as they are as the second array is done so nums1 of i i plus plus then k plus plus and we have to consider the case that the second array still has elements left while the first array is done so for that this loop so as the second array still has elements left first array is done simply put all the elements of that array so nums2 of j then j plus plus then k plus plus so with this we have considered all the possibilities and then we filled our array a and we have done so in such a way that a remains sorted now as i said if m plus n if m plus n is odd so percent 2 not equal to 0 if it is odd then what will you do simply return a of m plus n by 2 which is the middlemost element the median but suppose it is not having the size odd suppose it has an even size then say int x is equal to m plus n by 2 so m plus n by 2 and then double p 
a of x minus a of x double q a of x minus 1 so in the else case where m plus n is even the size of the new array is even we will be taking the two middle elements which happens to be a of x where x is m plus n by 2 and a of x minus 1 and i'm using double because we want the value up to the decimal point and so if we take integers it will be rounded down we don't want that and so after taking double p and double q as the two middle elements simply return the average of that which is p plus q by 2 so in a nutshell what we did basically was we traversed through nums1 and nums2 and we took the elements in a sorted order and we put it inside a new array a and then when a was finished a was completed if m plus n the size was odd we returned the middlemost element if it was even then we took the two middle elements and we returned the average of that so let's try to see if it works and let's see if we didn't miss anything okay seems okay let's try to submit it so as you can see it got accepted and the runtime is 2ms faster than 99.83 percent of java online submission so we pretty much got the o of log of m plus n so this is how you do this question meeting of two sorted arrays very simply by merging the two given arrays thank you